I don't know why I'm, I'm still alive, but I feel like it's only by chance. In 2012, March 28th, uh, I was uh, traveling from Damascus to Aleppo by bus in the bus station. Just four men, they came to me and they said, they put the weapon in my head and they said, give us your identity. Uh, they took me from the bus. Uh, they were not wearing uniform. They just closed my eyes and ripped my, uh, my hands. And we went to a known place. I, I remember they put me in, in a cell, as a, a single cell. I stayed at that time there 40 days alone. They took everything. They attacked my home. Yeah, and somehow they made, they tried to make me, to make me a person with, with un, without memory. When I choose to continue my master's in the global affairs, because I feel like everything that I believe is a global issue is not the issue only of Syria, it's, it's the global issue. Uh, this is what brings me here. Last summer, uh, I was invited with my husband also to, by Citizen Lab uh, to attend the Summer Institute. And this was, yeah, this was my first time in Toronto. Uh, that was my first meeting <laughs> with Monk School and U of T. And at that moment, I feel like this is my place. Yeah, I trust that the revolution was not inspired only, is not inspired only people of Syria, but all people worldwide.